Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be working on this interesting differential equation using Lambert W function, so stay tuned. Okay, we have an interesting differential equation, and I'll be representing this y of x using Lambert W function. So the question is, solve for y is equal to y of x, where y prime plus y double prime is equal to y prime times y double prime. So make a simple substitution. I'll be calling this k as y prime. Okay, then your equation has to be k plus k prime is equal to k times k prime. Okay, then we can divide this left and right hand side by the k. Then we should have this 1 plus now k prime over k. That is just equal to now k prime. Okay, so we can integrate this to have now x plus ln k. That is equal to k plus c. Or we can exponentiating to have e to the power of x times now k. That has to be just equal to c times e to the power of now k. Where the c is just a constant. Because our goal is to represent this y of x using Lambert W function. So using this, we can say k times e to the power of negative k. Okay. This is the same as this constant term c times e to the power of, now then negative x. And then parenthesis negative k times e to the power of negative k has to be the same as the c times e to the power of negative x, because c is just a constant term. So that is why from this we can say negative k of x is going to be the same as now the Lambert W of constant term c times e to the power of negative x, which means k of x is negative Lambert W of c e to the power of negative x. Then remember, we called your y prime as just a k. So that's why now we can talk about this y of x using integral. It has to be the same as negative integral, lambda w of c times e to the power of negative x. And then we have dx, of course, plus b as the constant. So in this case, both the c and b are just the constants. OK, another substitution, calling select your u as this term, c times e to the power of negative x. Then your du is now equal to negative c times e to the power of negative x, and we have dx. So that is why your dx is just equal to negative du over now u. Then what we are working on has to be now this negative integral of lambda w c times e to the power of negative x, and then dx. And using this u substitution, we can represent this integral as now just integral lambda w of u over u and du, which is then going to be the same as lambda w of the u square over uh, 2 plus lambda w of now u. Okay, so that's why we can finally represent this y of x using Lambert W function. So y of x is just equal to Lambert W of c times e to the power of negative x, now over 2. And then that plus Lambert W of the c times e to the power of negative x. Okay, and then plus b, where c and b are just a constant. Okay, so this was pretty interesting differential equations. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.